Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between additive and subtractive manufacturing. Economic production of near neat shape products with close tolerance and high accuracy is a challenging task for manufacturing industries. Two different approaches have evolved over the years for efficiently and economically fabricate such products. In additive manufacturing approach, or philosophy, thin layer of semi-solid material is deposited one over another to build a 3D component. Contrary to additive approach, layer by layer material can also be removed from a solid blank to obtain a product having desired shape, size and dimension. This approach of removing layers of material from a solid blank is termed as subtractive manufacturing. So, let's look into the basic differences between additive and subtractive manufacturing in a tabular form. Difference number 1, in additive manufacturing, layer by layer material is added one over another to develop desired solid 3D product, whereas, in subtractive manufacturing, layer by layer material is gradually removed from a solid block to fabricate 3D product. Number 2, the additive manufacturing concept is usually suitable for materials having low melting point, such as plastic. Whereas, the subtractive manufacturing concept can be applied to all solid materials irrespective of melting point. Number 3, in additive manufacturing, volumetric density, thus weight, of the constructive material of final component can be controlled during operation. Whereas, in subtractive manufacturing, material density cannot be controlled during operation. Density of object remains same with that of the initial solid block, usually a cast product. Number 4, in additive manufacturing, no material wastage takes place in additive manufacturing processes, whereas, the subtractive manufacturing processes are associated with material wastage in the form of chips, scraps, dissolved ions, vapors, etc. Number 5, complex shapes can be easily fabricated using additive manufacturing techniques, whereas, Subtractive manufacturing processes have limited capability in fabrication of complex shapes. Number 6, structures containing fully closed internal hollow parts can be produced by additive manufacturing processes, whereas, structures containing enclosed hollow parts cannot be produced by subtractive manufacturing processes, unless joining is allowed. Number 7, additive manufacturing processes are applicable to a narrow range of materials, whereas, Subtractive manufacturing processes can efficiently handle a wide variety of materials. And, difference number 8, additive manufacturing processes are time-consuming and costly but can provide superior quality and desired property without requiring any further processing, whereas, subtractive manufacturing processes are time-efficient and economic. These are usually suitable for mass production where requirement of product quality is not so tight, 